Hi guys, today I'll be calibrating my printer to be able to print decent quality prints at the correct size. For my printer I'm using my Prusa Mandel Interation 2 3D printer. There are many different types of 3D printers but the basic calibration steps are similar for all printers. To start off with I'm going to be using Thing 271736 from Thingiverse. This item from Thingiverse is a hollow calibration cube which is 20mm by 20mm with a thickness of 1mm on the inside wall. As you can see the initial layer is not adhering correctly due to the Z axis not being calibrated correctly. However it is adhering enough to complete this calibration test. On the side of my printer is the Z-axis end stop switch. It can be adjusted up or down to the desired position by loosening the screws. Also to help with adhesion to the print bed, I use a glue stick and I have the heat bed heated to 70 degrees Celsius. In this example I'm using PLA plastic. Some people use other things to help with adhesion, like hairspray or blue painter's tape. Use what works best for you. When checking the size, I thought it had an acceptable tolerance of error, so I then proceeded to my print project. This project is Thing 35188 from Thingiverse, an iPhone 4 cover for an old mobile phone of mine. As you can see, the print is too big to hold the phone in place correctly. I obviously had not calibrated the 3D printer to print the correct size. To fix this size calibration issue, I created thing 2014046. This is a 100mm square calibration tool. I then printed this item and measured to see how far my 3D printer is off scale. 100 divided by 103.08 roughly equals 97%. After changing the scale of the object to 97% in Cura, I reprinted the phone cover. After printing I found the print size was correct but the detail of the scorpion on the phone cover was poor. I concluded this was because the first print layer was printed too fast. I also noticed the quality of the side of the print was fine which means the other layers were printed at a good speed. For the next print I lowered the speed of the first print layer and also changed the layer height to increase the detail of the scorpion. I also changed from printing a raft to a brim. This print was much better. After removing the brim from the cover and cleaning up the small bridging issue that happened, I am very happy with my new phone cover for my old iPhone. When calibrating your 3D printer, it will be trial and error until you get your prints perfect. But by following the steps I showed you of printing, fixing errors and reprinting, you will have great 3D prints in no time.